Hello Traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Monday, 10th day of August 2015 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We do have a pretty dramatic recovery and a gold market trading over $1,100 today. Currently trading up roughly $10 on the day, 1103 and change. Take a look at that high. The high is up at around 1108.94, low 1089, but the market is solidly, solidly holding above 1100 per ounce. When we look at the COMEX, 1103.20 closes up about $9. Basically our same things in terms of our high, 1108, our low, 1089. Of course, we did have a stop in the market. We also talked about the fact that if the market would effectively close above 1100, I would feel a key reversal was in play. We were stopped out. I am sorry to report that we were in at 1092. We were out roughly at call it 07 or 08. That's the high on the day. And the market is currently trading off of those highs at about 1103.30. As I said, that's basis COMEX. Now, when we look at these markets, I talked about the fact that I really wasn't as comfortable as I had been with this short because my sense was that you typically don't get these long periods of consolidation that often. Typically, when you do, the probability of course is that it will break to the prevalent or the pre-existing a uh, trend that was in the market but you will get occasions when you'll see that be a key reversal area it does appear at least tentatively speaking that that is what we're looking at now the key to me is whether or not this market closes and trades over 1100 because that to me is a very critical mark and my recommendation is if you see this this market find support which it tentatively has if we do not see it back off today or over the next few days it's absolutely time to get long this market now right now one day into this rally so to speak and, and when I say this rally it's this break over 1100 is really how I should be prefacing it I really want to see a little bit more concrete evidence that this isn't a flash in the pan and then going to move lower but effectively as i've said all throughout last week and the week before that any kind of an effective move over 1100 is really going to signal a key reversal a pivot point in the market in which we see this market moving back up my caveat to that was that as we were range bound if we would see it effectively trade and close below 1080 that to me would be signaling lower prices when we take a look at what has transpired and how this market's unfolded we do have this this market now effectively above 1100 call it 1103 1104 we do have comex that has closed for the day we are still trading in terms of our spot market or forex market that is trading right now that's why you see it's still printing off and we'll go into a break and then we'll go into the what we call the afternoon session once we go into that if we have any firming whatsoever consider this an effective trade alert that I do recommend getting long the market the only thing is if you recall I like to put stops at a minimum of about three days the low of uh, the prior three days when you do that you're effectively in that 1080 area so you're looking at a fairly loose stop in the market but the real key is if you want to keep a tight stop in the market you don't want the market breaking below 1100 because below 1100 kind of negates what we've been saying so you can put your stop even if you need to in the area of call it uh, let's get our pointer up here but 1091 1090 so you can effectively put a stop at 1089 and enter the market from the long side if in fact we see this market once it reopens in the afternoon session maintain this price point above eleven hundred dollars per ounce so when we look at gold you can see that it is closing solidly solidly above 1100 now trading at about 1104 up roughly one percent on the day a full percentage point 
When we take a look at silver, silver has returned in terms of glory to a percentage gainer. It is trading up over 2.5% on the day, most importantly trading well above $15 per ounce, currently trading at $15.22. So the trade alert that we're putting out in terms of effective closes is not only for gold, but at this point, we are going to recommend that you do add silver to that long portfolio. You can enter the market from the long side in th at this particular price point in this area. The key, though, is when we take a look at the relative highs and relative lows of the day because of this move, you can see it's trading effectively right now here a what did we say about 22 we have a high at around 33 but if we look at that low that low is at about 1467 so where in fact do you put your stop in the market you do have a high that came in on friday's trading activity roughly 1499 so you'd want to place your stop in terms of that below 1499 maybe 1491 1489 in that area but as i said if we get follow through in the afternoon session go ahead enter positions long in gold long in silver this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we will talk to you tomorrow for another Another daily update review. Bye bye.